Everyone loves a big global sporting event. Swimming, cycling, shot put, marathon, football, even skateboarding. If you could go back in time, you'd discover that big sports have been big for a long time. The modern games have been going for 128 years. If you go back further, um, even further, keep going. Welcome everyone to the ancient Olympic Games. Over 2,000 years ago, athletes from all over Greece would gather to compete. It included big sports such as the 192 meter dash, the hop, 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 the race wearing full armor, and javelin, discus, and even chariot racing. Not only was there big sport, but big cultural events as well, like the trumpet competition. These athletes trained hard. They were focused and determined. The ancient Olympics ran for 1169 years. While the Olympics were happening in Greece, Jesus had been born just across the sea. He taught people, did miracles, died, rose again, and went back into heaven. He left his followers to carry on his work. Paul became a Jesus follower and travelled a lot. He wrote important letters too that we still read today. In one, he wanted to explain how to follow Jesus and he thought, I'll use a running race to explain it. Our life, he said, is like a race. It starts when we're born and ends when we die. Some people think that when we die, it's all over. But Paul learned from Jesus that the finish line in this life is just the starting line of a forever and ever life. At the finish line, we get the reward for what we did in our lives. Paul thought he could be good enough to get a great reward from God. He did everything good he could think of. But no one is good enough. No one that is, except Jesus. Only Jesus can make us right with God. He paid the price. So instead of running the race of life by himself, Paul ran it by following Jesus. And you can too. And here's the craziest part. Jesus has already won the race and offers you the prize. What prize? A forever friendship with Jesus in heaven. So keep running.